This couldn't be better timing for Governor Tim Pawlenty to jump in the race. It may have been by accident, but it comes a day after Indiana Governor Mitch Daniels says that he's not running. And that is huge for Tim Pawlenty. He's now the only, really the only Midwestern, former Midwestern governor in the race. Um, and I think that as uh, Republicans look at the field, um, they're going to be looking for executive experience in the field. Um, and also, Tim Pawlenty has a decent feel for Iowans. Um, he has done well traveling around the state, talking to Iowans in small groups and one-on-one. -on -one. And so really, in, as a national media event and as a, for a candidate who wants to do well in Iowa, um, the timing really couldn't have been better for Tim Pawlenty. He was really portraying himself today as a truth teller, a candidate who's going to tell it straight, um, straight talk, kind of like Don McCain's Straight Talk Express in, in his last campaign. And one of the examples he gave in Iowa was that he would be for eventually phasing out ethanol subsidies. Now, that may have been a risky position to take in Iowa last cycle or two cycles ago. I don't think it is quite that risky in Iowa this time. Um, you have the the Tea Party influence and you also have uh, Republicans that are so concerned about the deficit and the debt uh, that the idea of phasing out subsidies for industry, including even the ethanol industry, um, is not exactly a, um, a far stretch for Republicans in Iowa this cycle. Compared to a candidate like Herman Cain, who has no political experience, a candidate like Tim Pawlenty, who's actually been governor of a state for two terms, is going to have some baggage. Tim Pawlenty has already had to, like in the first presidential debate, for example, he kind of had to say he was sorry for um, his past willingness to look at cap and trade as a solution for, for carbon gas uh, emissions. Um, so he does have a little bit of baggage, but he really doesn't carry as much as some of the other candidates in the race. Um, not like Mitt Romney, who, whose Romney care has been um, really kind of a sticking point with Republicans, um, or a Newt Gingrich who had uh, you know, basically left Congress after ethics problems and after losing the House. Um, you know, candidates with political experience are going to have baggage, and it's a question of, of how you uh, are able to justify what you did in the past and then make a good case that you have the ability to do what you say you're going to do going forward. I think he's not a, a, a household name in Iowa yet, but I think among the Republicans who are really going to be part of the caucuses, he is uh, he's getting to be a household name. They're getting to know him better. I think that as they look at the field, um, you know, the, he is trying to appeal to a fairly broad coalition of Republicans, and he has an opportunity to do that.